Hi! I've been meaning to do this video for freaking ever and I've tried so many times and I stop after one pump. Today I am doing a 24 hour pump with me video. I am currently pumping to induce lactation, although I don't know at what point I stop saying that it's to induce lactation because I'm making quite a bit of milk, so I feel like maybe I already induced lactation. I'm not pregnant. My wife is. She is pregnant with our twins. I am not, but the human body is amazing, and I am able to breastfeed, but they're not here yet, so pump. So pump with me for the next 24 hours. I'm about to do my first pump of like the 24 hours. It's almost 3 o'clock. I pumped at noon last, so I should have pumped at 2, but we were running errands. I wasn't home. As you can see, we were at the grocery store, so I am about to pump and put away the groceries at the same time. It's not easy doing things and pumping at the same time, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Just kidding. Actually, the first thing I have to do is clean my pump parts because I didn't, so that's the first thing that's necessary. You don't know until you pump how much you have to clean pump parts. It is very, very, very time consuming, but that's all right. Now I'm going to sit here and pump because I'm done putting away the groceries and just sit for a minute. I know this is going to be a bad pump because my afternoon outputs are always lower, but I also haven't drank any water today or eaten really anything. So it's not going to be a good one. It's my own fault. I need to get better at one, drinking water, and two, making sure that I'm eating frequently. My right boob always makes more than my left boob, but it looks like that time they were pretty even. I pumped an ounce and a half on the left and an ounce and three quarters on the right. So that was actually pretty good considering it's one in the afternoon. Oh, it does not want to focus. Uh, when it's the afternoon, I don't make as much milk in the afternoons. That's just the way it goes for most people. And two, um, I didn't eat or drink much. <laughs> so that actually brings me to three ounces. But I had a goal of getting like three ounces per pump. So considering that's an afternoon pump, I think that's pretty, pretty good. Three ounces is also 90 milliliters, if anyone was wondering and used that measurement. So the next thing I typically do at this time is bag my milk. So I actually didn't bag my milk um, like yesterday's milk, obviously, or the day before. So this is two days worth of milk and it's a lot. Let me show you. So this is all of the milk I've pumped. It's about 50 ounces because I pumped 24 ounces and 28 ounces. Wait, that's more than 50 ounces. So I have to bag this so I can freeze it because it lasts longer in the freezer. So milk can last in the fridge, I believe, for six days, in the freezer for six months, and just on the shelf, like sitting on the counter for six hours. So I'm going to freeze it. That's step one of what I'm doing. Then there's a second step. So I put the date on every bag of milk. Don't know what the date is. Hey Google, what's the date? It's Tuesday, August 23rd, 2022. And then I also put how much milk is in a bag. So I personally freeze in six ounce increments. I actually don't know what is best for our family because the babies aren't here yet. So I don't know how much they eat, but this is what I do. This is what's gonna happen if I have extra milk in a bag, we will make it work. Ta-da, a bag of milk. So then I'm gonna make a whole bunch of these and then they're gonna go in the freezer. Nine bags. So now I have to freeze these. I try to freeze my bags flat. I'm cooking at the same time. I try to freeze my bags flat, but for some reason mine are never as flat as everyone else's. So, I need to figure that out. If you know how to freeze bags of milk perfectly flat, let me know because mine are always wonky. See, this is what I mean. Like they're not perfectly flat. Instead they're like angled and like thicker at the bottom. I don't know why. Next up is making like, people call it a milk brick. Bagging all my milk to store in the deep freeze. Oh, 
we got one full bag of 54 ounces. It's almost a bit of an issue that I'm making this much milk because if the twins stay put for a bit, I could be making a brick every um, two days. That's a lot of milk to put in the freezer. Like that takes up a lot of space in the deep freeze. We have discussed if they're staying in for a while, possibly getting just a secondhand freezer to put downstairs too, and then just reselling it after. We'll only have one deep freeze for the long run, but once we're done with it, just reselling it because we want to keep all the milk we can because formula is expensive. We want to avoid supplementing with formula for a little bit while I have this milk. So we'll see what happens. It is 5.30. I am just about done my pump. Oh, do you see me squeezing my boob? So when I'm pumping, let's start there. When I'm pumping, I do like hands-on pumping. So I like massage my, my boobs and it helps get more milk out and usually for it to go quicker, but for some reason this pump seems to be taking a long time. I'm tired. That's the thing about this whole pumping around the clock thing is I get really tired. Specifically around this time, I, you'll see, get up in the nights to pump, so I don't get a lot of like uninterrupted sleep. So around four, five, I get really tired. I like crash. So I'm currently crashing, just like in this rocking chair, trying to finish up my work because I thought I was done and then Allie just sent me a bunch of things to do. So I'm trying to get them all done. Excuse the horrid lighting and her. I pumped two and a half ounces. I'm heading to bed. As you can hear, my alarm is going. It happens for 60 seconds. I just finished pumping my power pump. So like I said, 20 minutes on and 10 minutes off. 10 minutes on, 10 minutes off, 10 minutes on. I'm done. So I got three ounces from the left boob and two from the right for a total of five ounces from my power pump, which I'm very happy with. I think that is just lovely. My record actually from recently for my power pump was four. Every time anything goes up, I am very, very excited because I'm trying to make as much milk as I can for, for these babies, you know? So a lot of people ask why I started so early. And there is an answer for that. So when it comes to inducing lactation, it doesn't happen the same way that it does when someone births a baby and then their milk comes in. It is a completely different experience because I'm starting from nothing. My body doesn't think that it needs to make milk. I have to trick it to. So making breast milk is very much a supply and demand type thing. It's actually called a positive feedback loop. So the more you feed, the more it triggers your body into making more milk, if that makes sense. So that's why I have to pump so much. I'm uh, leaking, I don't know if you can see. That's another new thing, I have started to leak. That's why I had to start so early. Also, I don't think that my results are super typical of what it is like to induce lactation, especially with only pumping for five weeks. I mean, to be completely honest, there are a lot of people out there that induce lactation and they only manage to make a few ounces in pumping for like eight to 10 weeks before their baby's born. This is a little abnormal, I think. I'm up to a full supply, of what's considered a full supply for feeding one baby. I'm making 28 ounces a day and 24 to 32 is considered a full supply. But I'm very happy with how this process is going. I don't think I told you actually that I was up to 28 ounces. Uh, so I'm taking my medication for the night. So it's Dawn Paradon. So it's currently 10.40. And I'm going to now hit the hay. I only have like five minutes left 
on this memory card. So going to try to make it last so that I don't have to clear space in the middle of the night. But I will be up to pump in the nighttime and I will bring you and show you my nighttime pumps. It's 2.30 in the morning. I got up at 2 and pumped. I woke up at 2 and I pumped and this is what happened. So I got two ounces from each side. One, the side got a little more than two. I'm tired. I just was scrolling on TikTok and I tried to watch a documentary, but I couldn't get into it, so I just turned it off. Yeah, so we got four ounces. I always make more milk in the night. So I have to make sure I also take my medication. And I don't talk too loud. I actually sleep on the couch um, from here on out. So I sleep in the bed with Allie and then she normally wakes me up at two or whenever I'm pumping because my alarm doesn't wake me as fast as it wakes her. And then I come down and I sleep on the couch for the rest of the night with all three dogs. So. I'm gonna go back to sleep until, um, I'm gonna go back to sleep until like 5 a.m. So let's hope I don't miss my pump. This will be my motivation to actually get up because it's really easy to just go to sleep now <laughs> and not get up. I didn't get up at 5 to pump like I was supposed to. So I actually went five hours between pumps, which I, I don't like to do. It should be two to three. That was way too long. But I got three and a half and two and a half ounces. Uh, two and a half from this boob, three and a half from this boob. So that brings us to six ounces for this pump. All right, good morning. So let's see what this boob is. I'm now up for the day. I actually slept in and didn't get like up for the day until 10 a.m which never happens, but I only let me sleep in. Might as well enjoy those sleep-ins while I can before the twins are here. And that pump was a touch over four ounces. Also, it's really hard to show you because like I can't keep it level, but trust me, it was a touch over four ounces. So I'm gonna get in one more little pump, like closer to noon, and then that'll be how much milk I made for the day. So almost there. This video is also a live look into how I look over a 24 hour period. So it is now almost lunchtime. It's lunchtime. I'm a, I'm the thing. So typically I count from 12 to 12, but uh, there was a couple mix ups this morning. In life, there was a bee in the house. I'm terrified of bees. Last night I picked some flowers and brought them in and I told Allie I could hear some buzzing. So she took one out that she thought she saw a bee in. And then uh, this morning, once the bees woke up, they came out of the flowers and said good morning and we're flying around our house. I had a panic. So I was outside, not able to pump, so I started a little late. So it's a little bit of a cheat, but I do that sometimes. So I am working editing a video while I pump in the office. Basically, this is what I try to do in the day whenever I have to pump is to work and pump at the same time because I mean 20 to 30 minutes of your day every two hours really adds up, especially because you count the two hours from the start of your last pump. So if you started pumping at 12, you have to start pumping at 2. It doesn't matter if you do a power pump and are pumping until 1. You still have to pump an hour later at 2. So it takes up a lot of your day. It's very time consuming. Let's see from that pump. So it's my last pump of the 24 hours. I think I got about 2 ounces. 2 ounces like kind of on the nose. 2 more ounces. So let's see how much I've made in 24 hours. Let's see, time to start measuring. I personally don't like measuring in this silicone one because I, I don't know, I just can't tell the lines as well. 10 ounces plus nine ounces brings us up to 19. And then we have 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 with this five. And then in this guy, we have 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Wait, 
That can't be right. Is my math wrong somewhere? Oh yes, I have to minus two ounces. Shoot, I got so excited. I had accidentally added two ounces of yesterday's milk that I couldn't bag because it wasn't the right denominations. Like I bag it in sixes or fours. And I only had two. Okay, I got so excited. I really wanted to reach 30. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Oh, it's just another 28. 28 is good. I just got really excited because I thought I loved 31 because one, I'm bad at math, and two, uh, I forgot that I added two ounces to this by accident. Then I just I bag this and it all starts over again. So that is 24 hours of pumping with me. That is what it looks like. It's pretty, it's it's pretty bad. <laughs> I don't have much to add. So thank you for watching. I know a lot of you wanted an update on my lactation induction journey. So I hope this was a good one. I hope you found this a little interesting. Hope you liked watching and we'll be back soon with another video.